guys, welcome to Life Apollos. Happy to have you here. I'll tell you what guys, it's just a little bit cold where I am today. A full furry hoodie for the remainder of the show. And oh my gosh, do we have a crazy show in store for you today. In today's episode alone, we're gonna talk about an absolutely crazy message. Daily German Exotic sent Manny Koshman after the 720 fire. We have Donut Media diving into the SSC to Atara top speed controversy with very interesting results. And we're gonna talk about the self-described dumpster fire of an issue that Rich Rebuilds is having after the $22,000 Tesla battery repair video went live. And as always guys, if you appreciate the grind of getting automotive and supercar community news content to you just about every single day, make sure to hit that sub button. It helps Megan and I out tremendously and that you're supporting the LOP team. And with that, on this beautiful Monday, ladies and gentlemen, Beard Nation, welcome to the show. Uh, first up today, guys, we're talking about Donut Media and their latest video, which a lot of you guys sent me, probably because we did so many videos on the SSC Tuatara controversy over the many months that it was happening. Now, Donut Media's video is called What's Going On With All These Faked Speed Records and primarily goes over the SSC Tuatara top speed timeline ever since their big initial 331 mile per hour speed came out. It's actually a fantastic way to get up to speed very quickly about the entirety of the timeline. We actually covered that over the course of like five or six episodes as new information was breaking every single day, covering the 331, covering the initial people that said it was fake, covering SSC uh, defending the initial time, going back on that, uh, Devatron uh, basically saying that they had nothing to do with the speed record. Uh, Donut Media covers all the main bullet points extraordinarily well. And I'll tell you guys, one of the saddest parts of the entire story story, which Donut Media actually covers near the end of their video, is really discussing that the SSC Tuatara actually has the record right now for fastest production car in the world, but nobody seems to care because of all the mistakes that were made during the initial promotion of that 331 time, which obviously they got nowhere near, even though they have the record now. And in case you guys didn't know, SSC was on their way to try another 300 mile an hour plus run when the uh, the transport vehicle that was carrying their only working to Atara had a bit of an accident and it really messed up the car. I doubt it would be in any condition to do a top speed run. Anyway, fantastic video from Donut Media guys. Uh, pretty much everything correct in that video, except I think for the pronunciation of Devatron. I made the mistake of calling it Duatron for a number of months and then somebody corrected me saying that it's actually pronounced Devatron, but that doesn't matter. Go watch the video, it's great. Next up guys, uh, Rich Rebuild is no stranger to a uh, Tesla fanboy is getting very angry with him over time and his latest video addresses a brand new dumpster fire courtesy of some of those fans. All right, so the video guys is called The Truth About the $22,500 Tesla Battery Repair and basically explains exactly what happened. All right, here's the deal guys. If you don't know, Rich Rebuilds put out a video about a week ago called Tesla wanted him to pay $22,500 to replace a battery pack. We did it for 75% less. Um, that video blew up, getting referenced all over the automotive uh, internet world. Uh, got almost 850,000 views. Uh, so many articles were written about this. And then I would assume that Tesla fanboys sort of trying to pick apart some of that particular video and things got a little bit heated. Without diving into all the contentions made by the sides about that particular video, Rich Rebuilds responds to pretty much everything in his latest video. So I would implore you, if you're at all curious about what happened here, Rich does a fantastic job of diving into the minutia of what the original video was, of sort of what it addresses, and takes time to discuss some of the contentions made against him. But this is nothing new for his channel whatsoever. Uh, lots of very angry Tesla people continually lob uh, crazy accusations at him all the time, and he takes it in stride in the way that very few people can. Go check it out, guys. Link for that video in the description below in case you're curious. Next up, guys, how do we not talk about Whistle and Diesel's latest post, guys? Posting just a picture of a McLaren 720S door in silver. It looks like it might actually be ice silver too. Uh, if you guys will remember only a couple days ago, we got this post right here saying R8 is off to Florida for an entire makeover. Any dealerships wanna make a deal on a McLaren this week? I think that Whistle and Diesel might have just bought a McLaren 720S. He's not normally the one to clickbait anything like a car purchase. So get ready for that, hopefully very soon. And next guys, before we get to our main headlines, 
story about Daily Driven Exotics and many Kosh fan and the Stradman stuff too. Let's talk about F-Spot's latest video, which is just the craziest bits of the automotive world, all packed into one video. The video is called I Went Car Spot into the craziest part of LA, Hollywood Boulevard. Okay, if you've never seen this video or sort of seen what F-Spot normally does, uh, it's a great video to jump in on. He does sort of mini montages of what the video is about early on in the video, so go watch 30 seconds of it. Let me know what you think, and if you like it, watch the rest. Definitely sort of the godfather of car spotting the F-Spot channel is. I've been a fan for a long time. We'll have to collaborate. We'll have to make sure to do a collaboration with him sometime whenever we're out there, or if he comes to Colorado. Anyway, link for that video in the description below, as always. Next up, guys, we're talking about Daily Driven Exotics' latest video and a very interesting message they sent directly to Manny Koshpin, who was in the car after the 720 GTR sort of uh, caught on fire. So if you guys haven't seen the brand new Daily Driven Exotics video, it's called My McLaren Blows Up and Catches Fire Emotional Afterward. Now, obviously, we actually reported on this a couple days ago when the news first broke, but you can watch everything on Daily Driven Exotics' video in case you're curious about the minutia of what actually happened. Now, uh, throughout the video, they talk about a lot of things. Uh, one of the bigger things is uh, sort of deciding what actually happened, what's broken, teasing that for a further episode. Uh, but I think we got a pretty big clue about where they're going to be headed with the 720 GTR uh, based on a comment they send directly to Manny Koshman on Manny's video of the exact same event. So on Manny Koshman's video, the same thing, uh, they put this comment down here and it gives us a pretty big insight into what they're going to be doing. Uh, just saying thanks, Manny, for coming for a ride. Just wait till we go for the next drive when it's got a built motor and 1,250 wheel horsepower. Manny simply responding, can't wait. That comment would seem to imply that regardless of whether or not the motor is blown, they're going to be leaving the original motor behind to go with something a lot heftier. But there you have it, guys. It seems like the 720 GTR, the self-proclaimed title, uh, is up for a big power upgrade definitely needed for that car. Not that 720 isn't fast, but uh, 1,250 wheel horsepower, you're talking about something pretty extreme. Anyway, thanks to all the people that sent me those particular comments. Uh, you guys are the reasons why we can do cool videos like this, the things that people normally miss, and interesting insights into things that aren't really uh, proclaimed yet. Next up, guys, in case you're curious about where Stradman has been, uh, some brand new Instagram stories cluing everyone in to where he is right now, and hey, it's New York City. Watch this. We have made it here to Yankee Stadium. You guys are never gonna guess where we are. Check this out. Wait, wait, wait. Get... Boom. What? I don't know about you guys, but this is definitely the ideal way to watch a Yankee game. If you live in the greater New York State area, turn on the Yes Network, watch the Yankee game. Burlacker and I, we're on, we're on TV the entire game making dumb... Yeah, anyways, watch the game. And of course, yesterday he was seen sort of palling around with a Lamborghini Huracan that he had rented from what we understand, but I'm sure we're gonna get a big vlog very, very soon. Make sure to stay tuned. Next up, guys, because I know you need a dose of, uh, well, something aesthetically pleasing to view. Let's talk about Ammo NYC's latest video, which is just car care at its absolute best. It's called Detailing Tesla Jeep, all electric Willys Jeep with five Tesla batteries covered in mud. Um, it's just super satisfying. I don't know what it is about cleaning mud or grime off of cars, but Ammo NYC has it down to an absolute science. Make sure to go check it out. You will love the video and become a fan very quickly, I would imagine. I got a great drag race for you guys, uh, but definitely obscure in nature on the Hoonigan channel. A 650 horsepower big block Ford Bronco versus 40 horsepower fully built Honda Grom. We talk a lot about like drag times and car wow for bringing the best of the best crazy cars together for drag races, but we don't give enough credit to Hoonigan who brings the weirdest cars uh, on different sides of the earth together or vehicles in this particular instance uh, to get some very interesting and entertaining drag races. Make sure to go check it out, guys. Hoonigan does a fantastic job on these videos and I'm a big fan of watching all of them. Then, of course, guys, a great video from the Schmuseum. Uh, the latest video called You Won't Believe the Spec Option Prices on my McLaren Senna. Uh, I'm gonna spoil part of this. They can get absolutely insane very quickly. Uh, a buddy of mine here in Colorado had one of the first McLaren Senna in full exposed carbon fiber and some of the options on that 
were just insane. I remember that there was like a water bottle uh, that you could get that would like directly go into your helmet if you were taken on the track. And I want to say that particular option was like $8,000 if I remember correctly. So it can add up very quickly. It's cool to see this sort of transparency with Shmi talking about his own McLaren Senna. Uh, just a fantastic video. If you've not checked out the Schmuseum channel, it's his secondary channel. Uh, a lot more uh, in-depth stuff on his own cars over there in case you're curious. And ending off the rest of the day, guys, got a couple great videos for you. One from Curated, driving a one-of-one -one manual Lamborghini Murcielago LP640. Uh, curated does some of the best Lamborghini videos around. Definitely something you should subscribe to. And Washness Media, new Supra, who dis? Express Rally A91 in 4K. Watch this media, some of the best cinematic uh, automotive show, whatever you want to call it, uh, anywhere in the business. Uh, definitely one of my favorite channels, hands down. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you have a great rest of your evening or wherever you happen to be. I know we have some fans across the pond, so maybe it's early for you. Uh, but thank you guys so much. We are pushing hard into the rest of September and we're gonna be rocking through October, November, and December, guys. Lots of big stuff coming down the pipe here. Uh, some huge Huge interviews that we're going to be doing over the course of the next couple weeks. You guys are going to be super pumped to watch. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. Sub to the channel if you're not a sub already. It's free. I'm out. Bye.